Welcome to the Sound Asleep Sleep Lab video series. If you are watching this video, you are most likely diagnosed with a sleep apnea. I am Dr. Kumar. I would like to discuss the treatment options for obstructive sleep apnea, which includes weight reduction. It is always nice to lose a few pounds and reduce our weight. Next is the oral appliance. Uh, it's a device uh, made by the dentist. And uh, if you desire this as an approach, you could uh, probably consult your dentist. Surgery. In the past, CPAP, when CPAP was not very user friendly, surgery was considered as an option. But now for sleep apnea, surgery is uh, pretty much abandoned since CPAP has made significant advances in the technology and uh, delivery system. Moreover, sleep apnea is a progressive condition which can only get worse as we get older. The <clears throat> uh, sleep apnea can affect all systems in the body including brain, memory, circulation, heart, high blood pressure, endocrine systems including uh, diabetes, thyroid function and several others. CPAP is the mainstay treatment for obstructive sleep apnea at this point. Whether you stop breathing 10 times an hour or 100 times an hour, the, the improvement you can get is 90 to 100% regardless of the severity. PAP therapy means positive airway pressure. That means the uh, airflow is delivered under positive pressure uh, to our upper airway. All the pressure in the air keeps uh, our uh, airway open to avoid collapse or obstruction. This air is also indirectly provides more oxygen to our body. CPAP stands for continuous positive airway pressure as opposed to BiPAP which stands for bi-level. That means there are two levels of pressure and which is the which is mainly used for people who have a significant COPD, emphysema or severely overweight patients. Patients with a significant uh, cardiac condition or who are on narcotic pain medication may require a different kind of uh, technology and uh, that is a positive airway pressure is delivered through a system called the VPAP ASV which stands for variable adaptive uh, uh, variable positive airway pressure or adaptive servo ventilation. In general, the gold standard treatment for obstructive sleep apnea is CPAP, but changes may be made depending up, uh, on your uh, response to treatment and other medical conditions. Let us start with the basic CPAP therapy. When we order CPAP after a home study or in lab study, we are using our uh, uh, educated guess as to uh, your pressure requirement, especially when we do the home study and the mask selection. So it is very important uh, to follow up closely to make sure that you are getting the desired benefit from the treatment. If not, you would need an in-lab study um, or for overnight titration to ensure maximum benefit. 
let us focus on CPAC for now. Due to current uh, COVID outbreak and lockdown, in-person hands-on trial with the CPAP machine and mass are not possible until the situations get better. We do not dispense CPAP machine and uh, we will be sending the uh, prescription order to one of the uh, DME companies, durable medical equipment company uh, to service uh, this equipment. And uh, after immediately after the, the study, we will send the, uh, uh, to the order. And uh, if you don't hear from this uh, DME company within two to two, three days, uh, please give them a call to make arrangements for the uh, delivery of this equipment. If you are having any difficulty, you could uh, always call us and our staff will assist you. CPAP equipment gives, as I mentioned earlier, positive airway pressure to keep your airway open and uh, preventing it from collapse during sleep. Delivering more air and indirectly more oxygen to all major organs like brain, heart, etc. CPAP equipment has a, a humidifier as a, it's a shown here and which can be easily removed by uh, pressing on the top and pulling it apart. And you can uh, flip open the up, uh, lid and uh, fill with the distilled water up to the level marked on this uh, water chamber. The heated circuit uh, tubing will be connected to the back of the, the machine and, uh, and the, the, uh, there, are, there is a socket uh, on, the, on the side and which can be flipped open for replacement of the uh, filter maybe 172 to three months. These new CPAP machines are smart machines like uh, our smartphones and give a lot of valuable information like your CPAP usage every night, residual sleep apnea, mask leak, etc. Every morning you could see on the dial all this, informa all this uh, uh, information and you could uh, watch this by just turning the dial in front of the machine. You can also download My AirView app on your uh, uh, iPhone and uh, you can review all your uh, CPAP data. It is important for you to use the CPAP during the entire time you are sleeping so that you can get the, the benefit from the machine. Even if you are taking a nap during the daytime, there is nothing wrong in uh, using the, the machine since the sleep apnea will be there regardless of whether you sleep uh, during the day or at night. When you come back for a follow-up visit after uh, uh, five to six weeks, we will download uh, and get all the uh, uh, data from the machine and make the fine tuning of the pressure adjustments. It is also a requirement that uh, we have to let the insurance company know that uh, you are using the machine adequately and it is getting the desired benefit from treatment so that the insurance company uh, can will pay for the for your equipment to the DME provider. Please remember that you are using the CPAP for your own benefit and not for the benefit of uh, your DME company. If you uh, have any issues with the mask or the machine, you may contact your DME company, but we are always there uh, to help you. If you are having any issues with the mask or the machine. Once you are compliant uh, in using the machine, we will send 
the order or receipt for uh, the, uh, the, we will let the DME company know that you are compliant with the machine and send the order for subsequent replacement of the CPAP supplies for the next one year. Then we will see you like once a year as required. Let us now talk about the mask selection. In general, there are three broad categories. Pillow style. Okay. So you can see that uh, this is the pillow style mask, which is uh, uh, very popular and it is the least cumbersome, especially useful for people who are claustrophobic. And the pillow style in general has uh, two buds which which can be inserted into the nostril and uh, the straps are very simple. For those who don't like anything inside their nostril, they have the option of a flat cushion without the uh, nose buds. And uh, this is also uh, very, very much liked uh, by the patients. In this style, you have the option of having the hose hanging down uh, from the nose or you can have the option of uh, having the, the hose swivel on the top of the head. It's a personal choice. Then coming to the, the nasal mask. Nasal mask is cover the, uh, just the nose, but as you can see that the, the headgear and the straps are a little more elaborate. Full face masks are mostly designed for people who are mouth breathers or have difficulty in uh, breathing through the nose. Full face masks in general cover the nose and the mouth. They are, uh, there are several variations in this style. Some of them, some of the newer uh, models do not cover the, the nose, but they have, they, uh, they can be inserted under the nose and also it covers the, the mouth. So they, they can breathe through the nose as well as through the mouth. Different, uh, different variations, but the headgear uh, uh, and the straps are similar to what you use for the, uh, for the nasal mask. On behalf of the team Sound Asleep, I wish you a better sleep in the nights ahead. Please subscribe to our Sound Asleep uh, Sleep Lab YouTube channel. Thank you.